We're up the Chocolate Hills. Woo! Woo! Chocolate Hills, baby. How's Anthony going? Chocolate Hills. We're going to Chocolate Hills now. Chocolate Hills, just finished at Tarsia's, the Tarsia place. Um, there, is there any chocolate at Chocolate Hills? Any any chocolate at Chocolate Hills? No, no chocolate. No chocolate? <laughs> cocoa only cocoa. We're at Chocolate Hills right now. About to take the stairs to the viewpoint. No one ever talks about all the stairs that you have to climb to get to the viewpoint for Chocolate Hills. Now I'm at the, the viewpoint and it's overcast and it's a little bit windy up here as well so I'm going to try and take the drone up and get like just give everyone a bit of an aerial perspective. It's actually just starting to rain. It's just starting to rain right now. That's annoying. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> so anyway, this is the viewpoint. It's very crowded up here. Lots of people. Too many people, I think. There's two levels of the viewpoint, some of the very top. So, uh, it was starting to rain before, it's kind of stopped now. I'm not sure if I will launch it, but if I launch the footage, if I launch the drone now, you'll see it. Not, it won't happen. So, I'm going to try and launch the drone off at the viewpoint, and the wind's dropped off, the rain's dropped off, which is my biggest concern actually. And wish me luck trying to launch this thing and it not blow away. So, see how we go. guys all right that was a successful flight just landed no wind, no rain, and I ran out of memory capacity in the drone on the way back, which is not too bad. It's happened to me where I've flown it out somewhere and it's run out of capacity. But I'm super happy. It's much better taking photos and video with the drone, especially in a place like this, where it's super crowded, people everywhere, trying to fight for the little bit of landscape to take photos. So um, a drone investment is the best thing for everybody. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. It's 2.15 in the afternoon, 5th of February, and just finished at the Chocolate Hills, which has come down from the viewpoint. And uh, it was quite good, quite nice, but overcast, a little bit of rain. Uh, yeah, it's about 50 pesos to get in here, the entry fee. We got a driver. The driver's taking me up here to, um, you know, leave me to my own devices. And then they're calling the driver for me now. I'm gonna get picked up and head off to do some zip lining. So if you wanna watch that, stick around. But definitely, uh, definitely check out Chocolate Hills if you're in Bohol, it's Philippines, definitely come here, check it out. It's a good three to four hours of your day. It's about an hour and a half just to get here from um, the city and another hour and a half to get back. Um, you know, three hours plus 30 minutes to 40 minutes to an hour to uh, suss this place out. Sorry about the wind. 
So um, yeah, you'll you'll need to spend you'll, you'll spend a good four or five hours, a good half day here, uh, maybe a little bit less than half a day here. So that's it. Chocolate Hill's done. Tick.